country's largest ever effort to eradicate pests from an urban area has begun in Wellington. The $2.4 million project aims to eliminate rats, stoats, weasels and possums from the Miramar Peninsula in Wellington by Christmas. More than 6,000 of the child and pet proof traps are being set in people's backyards, businesses, schools and on reserve land in a bid to bring back native birds and geckos to the area. Our reporter Hamish Cardwell and visual journalist Dom Thomas were at the official launch. The Miramar Peninsula in Wellington is home to about 20,000 people and it's the scene of an ambitious plan to rid it of all introduced pests. A team of volunteers has already begun that work and from today until December, two dozen predator-free Wellington staff are being enlisted to vanquish the vermin. Wade Hammond lives in Strathmore with his partner Jacqueline and son Walter. They signed on as volunteers three months ago and the 15 traps they maintain on their land and the reserve over the fence kill on average 10 pests a night. My best night was 13. Yeah. Um, now that we've, we've actually eliminated rats from our general proximity, um, so now we're getting all the mice come in. So I can only, I'm not a biologist or anything like that, but I can only imagine that the mice are coming through and cleaning up all the food that the rats would have been eating. That's about 300 fewer vermin already, and the community has got together online to share their best extermination stories. Every, everybody in the group, in our little community group, takes photos. They pull the rat out, put it beside the trap and take photos. So it's a bit of a bragging rights. Everybody, <laughs> everybody posts on Facebook. <laughs> and, um, yeah, everybody comments, you know, what the best, best baits are and best way to set the trap and things like that. So... Have you noticed it, it's made a difference? Like I saw before that the, I believe it was a kitted who just came out of the tree up yep, there. Yeah, we've got a couple of two, uh, not two, um, fantails just up in the tree here. So it's, it's actually, it's kind of exploded, hasn't it? Yeah, it's um, gone, it's probably amazing. Probably the last month. Emma Rowell from Predator Free Wellington says Miramar's geography makes it an ideal spot to roll out the scheme. It's almost an island and we've done a bunch of island eradications and although this is quite different because it's an urban area, we've obviously got to have a slightly different approach. Um, it does mean that it provides this really defendable area and the airport actually forms a really nice natural barrier too. Emma Rowell went door knocking, informing residents about the plan and so far almost 3,000 have given permission to host a trap on their property. She says the community's response has been overwhelmingly positive. Basically we've got some really precious um, taonga, these animals and these plants that we have here in New Zealand that are found nowhere else in the world, and we've got these introduced predators, and the problem is that not many of them can coexist together, so it's a one or the other kind of situation, and um, we've got a really exciting chance here to basically swing the balance back in the favour of our native species and get them thriving again as they once were. The goal is that by Christmas, no more pests will be found in the traps, because they'll all already be dead. James Wilcox, Project Director for Predator Free Wellington, says something on the scale has never been done before in an urban area, and the Miramar project is a proof of concept. So we'll take that learning and then we'll look to, to where we can leverage off geographical features, roads, things like that. So in terms of the totality of the project, there's five phases for us. So Miramar is the first phase, and the second one we're looking at, at perhaps Island Bay. You know, we've got the valley floor and the roading in there. We might be able to do something to enhance that in terms of a virtual barrier system. And ultimately we'll get to the, the boundary between Porirua City and Wellington, so 30,000 hectares south of that. The government has an ambitious target to eradicate all possums, stoats and rats in New Zealand by 2050. This is the latest effort in the battle to protect our native species, one trap at a time. For Checkpoint, iti whanganui atara, ko Hamish Cardwell tēnei.